What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome to a brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. You guys are probably a little confused because we're not doing a team builder, and the reason behind that is because we are going to be building another team around our Shifu. This time around, that's going to be the single striker Shifu. I got this Urshifu via trade, so um, whoever put their Urshifu on uh, GTS on Pokemon Home, thank you. I really appreciate it, Dustin, uh, because I don't, I don't even remember what I traded. But this Urshifu is definitely well worth it for me. Uh, so, taking a look at what we're running here with Urshifu, which is the first Pokemon. I'm just going to do a quick recap and uh, a quick rundown. And then we're going to find our first Wi-Fi battle opponent. But we got uh, Pokeris. Uh, Pokeris obviously is on Urshifu, but that's not even a battle thing. So, um, I'm running these marks. It, he actually is 6 IV because I actually hyper trained uh, my boy here. Which you guys uh, probably can't see right now. So, we got Urshifu. Um, I believe yeah, he's adamant nature unseen fist and he's our gigantamax Pokemon Dynamax level 100% uh, Which is why um, We're building uh, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna be doing this team um, I'm a little bit burnt out to be honest with you guys So I apologize the moves we're gonna be running on this bad boy is gonna be bulk up close combat iron head because of these pesky fairy types which we die two times four and wicked blow which is a really, really good it's heavy hitting attack. So I'm excited for that bad boy. Um, so our next Pokemon, you guys already saw, we're running 252 uh, attack and 252 speed, in case you guys were wondering. The next Pokemon is none other than Volcarona. This is gonna be a timid nature Volcarona. Flame body, uh, no Dynamax level because we're, not, we're gonna try to Dynamax strictly only my boy or Shifu here. Um, 252 special attack and speed as you can see on your screen there and we're running quiver dance to try to sweep a couple boys around here We got bug buzz hurricane and fiery dance fiery dance is gonna be the most um, the, the attack we're gonna be clicking on most because of the special attack raise that it has um, What are a couple oh, heavy duty boots uh, is the item we're gonna be running on your boy the next boy is Aegislash weakness poly uh, weakness policy Aegislash uh, we are running Adamate Nature, HP and Attack are the uh, highest EVs that we got there, which are maxed out. King Shield for Defense, Sword Stance for uh, high attack output, Shadow Stink, which is going to be the attack we're going to be hitting the most, and Iron Head there. And then the next Pokemon, which is going to be our uh, offensive wall, is going to be none other than your boy Tentacruel. Um, he's pretty well balanced overall, if you look at his stats, 155 Special Defense and the rest into Defense. Uh, as far as stat wise go not necessarily evs because we're fully invested in defense but that's because i want to be able to take some uh defensive and special defensive attacks mostly special defensive so we're running black sludge for recovery toxic spikes uh which have come in clutch before i just got to be careful with pokemon running guts running around this generation we got ice beam for coverage corrosive gas and brand new move introduced in the isle of armor basically a poison knockoff doesn't do any damage and then scald which is going to be another primary attacking move for um our boy tentacruel here now the next pokemon is going to be a choice scarf flygon um, max attack max speed as you can see here and then we got u-turn for pivot dragon claw and fire punch for these pesky ferrothorn and then we got the excuse me we got the earthquake going around here which is going to be our primary stab if not if we're not clicking u-turn by any chance um now the next pokemon is going to be leftovers rotom which is he's he's a little bit mixed because we want him to have uh, bulk we want him to attack and we want him to uh be a little bit fast there so this is a moveset straight from smogon uh we're running a little bit of a different set though because we're running bolt switch discharge will-o-wisp and hydro pump so we got some pretty good Pokemon coming around here, so let's go ahead and find ourselves our very first battle. Okay, so we found our very first opponent with this team, and their name is Ariel. Shout out to Ariel, who's bringing a really cool team with Zeraora, Toxapex, Gardevoir, Duraludon, Arcanine, which I haven't seen in a long time, and Tangograph, which Tangograph is gonna is gonna be a really cool Pokemon um, to face here in the in this um, in this battle here. So. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with our boy Who am I gonna start with? I kind of want to start Rotom and part of me wants to start Flygon I'm gonna do Flygon because I feel like he's gonna start uh, mm, I don't know. I really don't know Yeah, I'm gonna start Flygon Because we're gonna U-turn uh, If he brings in Toxapex 
Toxapex is going to take a lot of damage with the Earthquake. If he brings in the Arcanine, he's going to take up. So Flygon is going to be a really good Pokemon against this team. And other than Gardevoir, uh, of course, because U-Turn knocks out, uh, doesn't necessarily knock it out, but it does a pretty good amount against the Tango Ralph. It can do a, oh, I like your Lee card. Rock in the suit. I like it. You, you look pretty flashy, Ariel. My mouth is a little bit dry, so I need to drink a lot of water. What are you going to do, Ariel? Talk to Pex comes out, which I actually like a lot. So while we're, we're, we're having, we're, blah, 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 I can't even talk. A lot of our Pokemon are in a beast ball, by the way. So that is pretty cool to me. Except for Shifu, of course. Or Shifu is the only Pokemon that's not in a beast ball. But I'm going to go ahead and click Earthquake here. He's, if he goes for a Baneful Bunker, that's okay. So you're probably going to go for the Tango Growth. Okay. Expected. Expected. Now, you guys are probably wondering why I didn't do a Team Builder. I explained that a little bit of in the intro. In case you guys did uh, skip the intro, I'm just going to give a quick rundown. So, Urshifu is probably going to be banned in Pokemon Sword and Shield's uh, Smogon because it's really strong. At least uh, this single strike Urshifu. Uh, so, because of that, I wanted to, to play with this team a little bit and basically just go from there. Um, essentially what the plan was to since we did rillaboom last week the plan was to go either cinderace or intellion next oh knock off that's a bummer that's okay because what i'm gonna do next is just corrosive gas this thing but anyways um so that was the plan but i just want to use this or shifu before he gets banned because i'm not a fan of using really big banned pokemon so that's basically why earthquake that's that's a little bit of a bummer okay Tentacruel takes it a little bit. Uh, we don't get any reco recovery, unfortunately, so that's bad news. The good news is we knocked off the Assault Vest. Um, but, 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 I want to go Rotom next. Rotom? Rotom, the Rotom, I'm going to do it. My mind is all over the place. My mind is all over the place today. But also, the reason we're going to build around this team today, and the reason we didn't do a team builder is because of the because we already did another shifu team builder i didn't want to do another shifu team builder and confuse a bunch of you guys so that is basically why we're gonna will away the single growth kind of neutralize the knockoff a little bit and a couple other moves that it's running by chance like power whip uh giga drain is good oh man i'm really bad right now i'm not doing really good i am not doing good at all right now i need a focus i just need a focus just focus daddy mac that's all you got to do focus we're talking about the real game. We're not talking about practice. Okay. So this thing is probably gonna... He's probably gonna outspeed me. So I'm gonna Volt Switch here. I kind of need the Rotom because of the Toxapex. It's really hot in here. Woo! It's really hot in here. Okay, Volt Switch does some pretty good damage given that this thing is no longer a Salt Vest. That's a crit. That's why. And you're probably gonna go Giga Drain. If you do, we're running Liquid Ooze on my boy Tentacruel. So you're going to get damage instead. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do, boys. Giga Drain, knock off. Okay, that's... A... I tried to play the system and completely failed it. Uh, now, I feel like you're going to go Earthquake. Um, I think. Nah, yeah, you probably are. But... But we're going to go ahead and Ice Beam. I'm not going to set up Toxic Spikes in this battle because he has the Toxapex in the back. Ice Beam, come on, knock this boy out. Uh, it's not gonna knock. Tango Growth is bulky, come on. Oh, we got him with the Liquid Ooze. We're living it, you're gonna get damaged instead, my boy. So that's that's good news for us. We got him with the uh, Giga Drain there. Probably predicting the Rotom to come in. Rightfully so. I'm gonna Ice Beam now. I'm gonna Ice Beam now. Also, the reason I didn't go Toxic Spikes is because, you know, the burn is actually pretty crucial sometimes. It can be crucial at times. Knocks out the Tango Growth. Uh, good job, uh, Tentacruel. I almost forgot your name. I almost forgot your name. Also, shout out to James. James is one of my good friends who also plays Smash. So I'm gonna battle. I'm gonna play him uh, here within the next week or so. Shout out to James. He's the one that really intrigued me to, tent to Tentacruel because in Sun and Moon, I know I, I said I didn't play a lot of competitive in Sun and Moon, which I didn't. I only played casually with my friend James and Noel and a couple other friends of mine. But he brought in this bulky Tentacruel. 
his EV spread is a little bit different than mine because he would use he would actually use um, 252 defense and 252 and special defense and that thing was absolutely bulky so shout out to, to him because it inspired me to use the tension cruel so I'm gonna go corrosive grass corrosive gas or, yeah I'm gonna go corrosive gas in case I outspeed which I, I really don't think so okay extreme speed is, is the play it's the play um blah, 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 blah. who am i gonna go to now um flygon flygon age of slash i can't i mean i can't king shield yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go age of slash i'm gonna age of slash i'm gonna king shield and then um yeah king shield lower its attack by one if i'm gonna take a i should be able to take a flare blitz after a minus one flare blitz boom we're taking that bad boy minus one to our k9 not minus two anymore we're gonna sword stance get ready to get hit with this weakness policy age of slash after so we're gonna be plus four boys we're gonna be plus plus four this is eight but plus four we're gonna be plus four withdrawals okay that's fine toxapex is he gonna try to scald us I, I'm gonna predict a baneful bunker next turn and I'm gonna go for another sword dance. I think that's what we're gonna do. I know this thing has regenerator and what's or not. I haven't faced a Toxapex in a while. I haven't seen a Toxapex in a while. Oh, you're not going baneful bunker? Ain't no way you're going bane. Oh, you're gonna scald? I think you're gonna go scald. Yep. Please don't burn me. Please don't burn me. Please. Okay, that's good news. I'm gonna shadow sneak here if he goes baneful bunker he can't burn me so that's kind of good news for us that was beautiful I've never used an Aegis Lash before ever even an X and Y and Auras that's some good damage I'll take it all day I'll take it all day obviously we don't want to take a bunch of scalds to the face um honestly it doesn't it's not convenient for my opponent to go for the I'm gonna source that again and get a little bit greedy. It's not convenient for him to go for the baneful bunker because he's trying to get a burn on me. Now we're at plus uh, plus six, so Aegis Slash is really scary. Scald, if we don't get burned, we're in it, we're in good shape. Oh no! That's what I was I got too greedy. I got too greedy. That's why you don't get too greedy, boys. Let this be a lesson. That's not good at all. Um Shadow Sneak. Now would be a good time for him to Baneful Bunker, and he does. And he does. Shadow Sneak not gonna do anything. We can't get poisoned, but we're gonna be taking some burn damage here. Oh, if this didn't burn, Aegis Slash would, would probably sweep. We would probably sweep. Shadow Sneak. Shadow Sneak. We're sneaking on the shadows. Still some pretty good damage, I will take that. I will take it. I don't think that crit mattered. I don't think that crit mattered. Um, now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is go into Rotom. I'm not going to Volt Switch yet. If anything, he'll probably go Baneful Bunkered to kind of scout a little bit. He, get, he has the Zero Aura. So I'm going to Willow Wisp here. He's probably going to try to catch me on a Volt Absorb. Yep. Here comes the zero. My God, the zero aura. No, that's that's not the zero aura. That's not who I wanted to come in, at all. Do we outspeed? That's the biggest question. Do we outspeed? What's our EV spread again? Um, I need to check my EV spread. Or my nature too. Okay, I probably want to outspeed this thing. Uh, maybe. Should I risk it? I don't think I'm gonna risk the biscuit. I don't think we're oh that's not what I want to do. Stop. Stop it. We're volt switching here. He's probably gonna want oh I knew he was I had a feeling it was gonna Draco. And we're getting knocked out. At least this uh Duraludon is minus two now. That's kind of good news. Because now this gives us the opportunity to go into Volcarona. And I kinda want to try to 
I kind of want to try to quiver dance here. Yeah, we're going to quiver dance. We're going to try to quiver dance. I think Lumberry would be a little bit better for us, to be honest. We're probably going to switch from... No, because we don't got any stuff rockers. Uh, the, 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 the decisions that you got to make. Withdrawals. You're probably going to talk to Pex, and rightfully so. Yep. Regenerator. I'm not going to appreciate a Scald, that's for sure. I'm not appreciating his calls. Quiver Dance uh, brings us up to plus uh, one in speed, special defense, and special attack. Now, I kind of want to hit him with a Hurricane. Try to get a Confusion because that would be kind of big. Okay, we hit. That's some damage. That is some good damage. Don't do a lot. Please don't do a lot. Okay, I will take that. I will actually take that. Should I predict painful bunker or should I pre um I'm predicting the recover here. I'm going to I'm going to quiver dance again. Try to threaten this Toxapex. We got to play a little bit aggressive against this Toxapex if we want to try to capitalize. So that's why I'm going to quiver dance here. If my opponent decides to switch into let's say RK9, I'm going to hit it with the hurricane. I knew it. I knew it. Intimidate doesn't affect us. It doesn't phase us. It's a good thing we're not running um, Giga Drain. Giga Drain was an attack I would run on my on my previous sets and back in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. For residual uh, recovery, or for recovery, I should say, not necessarily residual recovery. All right, you're gonna quiver. Oh, you're not quiver dancing, or you're not ex extreme speeding. We knock out this Arcanine. Oh boy, is this a, is this gonna be a Volcarona sweep? I hope it's a Volcarona sweep. My boy Ariel's looking fresh, but is his team fresh enough? Is it fresh enough to knock out my Volcarona? We're plus two, boys. We're at a plus two. Who are you gonna... Maka, which is the... Yeah, that's right. The Duraludon. We're fiery dancing. Fiery dance. We're dancing with fire. There you go. There you go. Come on, Volcarona. Boy, we get another knockout. That's two. Are we gonna bring this back? Because we should be able to knock out the Toxapex with the Hurricane. At least cl come close to. We should be able to come close to knocking out the Toxapex with the Hurricane. Assuming we hit. Assuming we hit. It would be really nice if we got pl a plus one in a special attack. This one's a little bit different than the one I would run before. And, and Auras, because this is a timid nature rather than modest. So it doesn't hit as hard. But it still it's pretty hard as you guys can see. Especially at a plus two. Alright, Toxapex comes out. We might be able to knock it out with a Hurricane. I think we can. What Pokemon do you have left? Okay. Hurricane. Let's do it. Come on. Come on, Bulk. Come on, Bulk. Nice. Good hit. Good hit. Knocks out the Toxapex. This is going to be a Volcarona sweep. This is going to be a Volcarona sweep. I can already smell it. I can sense it. I can feel it in my bones. A Zero Aura comes out. A shiny one. The one from the, uh, for knocking out a bunch of Zero Aura in the... Uh, in the events, we're gonna go fiery dance here. We're gonna go fiery dance and it should knock out the Zero Aura. Volcarona! Yes, boys! That's what I'm talking about. One more Pokemon. One more. We just gotta knock out one more. Urshifu didn't get to make a it didn't get to make an appearance, and I'm 100 percent okay with that. Alright, Gardevoir comes out, traces my flame body, which is perfectly fine. And I'm going to hit this thing with a Bug Buds. Bug Buds is a little battle is canceled. Volcarona for the win. Volcarona sweep. Call Volcarona the janitor. We're sleeping. On, they're sleeping on us, boys. They're sleeping on us. Uh, I'm taking your lead card because you look fresh and you had a pretty cool team. You just didn't stand a chance against uh, Volcarona. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoyed this Volcarona sweep. I know I enjoyed this sweep. It was awesome. Comment down below on your thoughts on the battle. Why Volcarona is the best Pokemon, in my opinion, to sweep your opponent's, uh, your opponent's team with. And also let me know who the most valuable Pokemon was, the MVP in the description down below using hashtag MVP. And also, subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles, including Volcarona sweeps. I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching.